Today class, we're going to learn about tape diagrams and double line graphs. These are ways that you can um, examine your ratios and proportions. So the first thing that we're going to learn about are tape diagrams. I'm going to give you an example with a problem and then I'll go to the double number lines. So we're going to start out with Katie, Elaine, and Brittany. The ratio of their money is 5 to 7 to 9. Alright, and you can also write it like this right here. Alright, so our problem is Elaine has 24 more dollars than Katie. How much money does Brittany have? And we're going to find this out using a tape diagram. So, to be able to do that, we're going to do even boxes because all, all, the, all your boxes have to be the same um, size because they're all the same proportion. So, we're going to go with our ruler here. And we're going to go one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll erase that. All right. And we're going to go up. Oops. And we're just going to kind of go one, two, three. Because we've got Katie, whoops, Elaine, and Brittany. All right. So we're going to go across. I'm not doing this very well. On all of these to draw our tape diagram. And Brittany has nine. So we're going to draw in her nine. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are a little bit too long. Um, Elaine has seven, so we're going to copy, make them the same size. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and then Katie has five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so now we have our ratio drawn out. And our question, it tells us that Elaine has 24 more dollars than Katie. So we see here that Katie has two blocks less than Elaine. So two blocks equals twenty-four dollars. All right. So to find the amount of one block, we can just divide by two, and one block will equal twelve dollars. And we want to know how much Brittany has. So she has nine blocks. So then we'll multiply by 9, and 9 blocks equals $108, and that's how much Brittany has. So that's your example of doing tape diagrams. Now we're going to go to a different one using a line graph. We saw this stuff. Okay, so let's say you use 
two eggs for every three cups of flour in your recipe and you want to know how many cups you need if you have 16 eggs So we're going to draw our Dover Lumber Line. My lines are not straight on this, but it's okay. And we're going to give one line eggs and one line cups of flour. Alright, so we know that our ratio is two eggs to three cups. Now there's different ways that you can do it. You can multiply, you can skip count but you can do whatever but I like skip counting so then you can go to the next one and you can double it because 2 plus 2 is 4 and then double this one to 6 and then 4 times 2 is 8 because you're adding never mind I lied you're adding 2 cups so it would be 6 and then you would add 3 cups and it would be 9 and then here you're going to add two more eggs, so it'll be eight. Add three more cups and it'll be twelve. You add two more eggs, be ten. Three more cups, you have fifteen. And if you just keep going, you will finally, at some point, get to sixteen eggs and you have 24 cups of flour if you use 16 eggs. And that is how you use a double number line graph.